Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Super Power, Start on the Throne. Chapter 16. The second baby has been in the city for three days. Today, the bank he has been looking forward to is finally put into operation. No way. He has no money now, so he can only take a loan. He wasn't just waiting for these three days, he was looking around for business to do. But after looking for it, he found that there was too much business he could do. Today, Dagon has fully opened up business, and anyone can do business. Moreover, it has received full encouragement and support from major cadres. Then there is really too much that can be done. He found that there are a lot of vacancies in everything from food, clothing, housing, and transportation, especially the day before yesterday, the Ministry of Cadre and Engineering revealed a message that it will invite private enterprises to bid for network optical fiber in the near future. As soon as the news broke, countless people with some family background immediately began to recruit talents related to this field. Soon in a day, hundreds of such companies were established, and countless graduates of information engineering and even professors, have been solicited by these companies on extremely favorable terms. More than that, there are also many companies that directly send people to go abroad, digging people from foreign companies related to this type of industry. It's simply crazy. Because everyone knows how profitable this will be. With these in mind, Irwa has already rushed to a bank called Basic Bank in his city. Looking up, there are still many areas of this bank that are not perfect and are still under renovation. But the normal deposit and withdrawal and loan business have already begun, and at this time, the door of this basic bank, there are countless people gathered in Wuyang. Obviously they are all here to handle business. Among them, a large number of people are covering their pockets and looking around with their eyes vigilantly. They look like people who have come to save money. The people who save money account for a large part, and only a small part come to borrow money. After all, not everyone has the courage to give up their original business and go out for business. More people do not want to take risks. If you are burdened with debts, you will even have a heart of death. The second baby is also in the queue. It just so happened that the two queues in front of him seemed to be acquaintances, chatting. Huh, old Lu, are you here for a loan? The man named Lu Zhe repeatedly shook his head, what kind of loan? No, I'm here to save money. I don't dare to do business. I'm going to do business. No one will plant the land at home and lose money. What can you get back? Old Chen, what are you here for? Old Chen grinned with big yellow teeth, me. I'm here to save money too, haha, I don't dare to take out loans to do business casually, what if I lose money? Oh oh, are you here to save money too? Now that your majesty takes office, it is really good. You actually get interest when you save money. It is said that if you save 1000 yuan, you can earn more than 10 yuan in interest a year. $10. Purchasing power is equivalent to more than 100 yuan of the earth's yuanwang, not to mention that the per capita income is only 1325 yuan, which is per capita, like farmers like them only earn 1000 yuan a year. Yes, the thousands of dollars that have been saved in this life are also kept at home. It is not safe. But in the bank, you can get dozens of dollars for free every year. Where can I find such good things? Old Chen nodded repeatedly in agreement. Listening to the words of these two, the fat white man standing in front of them couldn't help but turn around and said, If you want to save money, it's best to go to the capital bank in the east. I heard that there is a higher interest rate. With a fixed period of RMB, it seems that there can be an annual interest of 23 RMB, which is higher than here. Old Lu and Old Chen were stunned when they heard what the white fat man said. Then, Old Lu quickly asked, This man, is this true? The two looked at Fatty Bai with eager eyes. Fatty Bai nodded affirmatively. Of course, I came from over there just now, but I am not saving money, I am applying for a loan, but the loan interest there is a little higher than here, so I will come here. It's done. Upon hearing this, Lao Lu Lao Chen quickly thanked him and without hesitation, he headed for the capital bank to the east. Dot dot dot. This scene happened in many, many places in Dagon. In almost a day, all the people with surplus money took out the money and deposited it in the bank. In just one day, according to the documents submitted by the Ministry of Finance, the current deposits of the three major banks have exceeded 300 billion kianyuan. It was terrifying.
And this is only the first day, and more people will deposit their money in the bank later, and almost all of those who deposit money into the bank choose to make regular or even dead term deposits. Because the interest can only be obtained on a fixed period and a dead period, the bank can use the money to invest and lend, and only the fixed period and dead period can be used. Banks are not qualified to use normal deposits. Of course, there are many people who handle loans, but today there is not a list of successful loans. Lending must be prudent and prudent, not to mention that everyone can lend. Either take things out as a mortgage by yourself, or someone guarantees, and the guarantor is either an official, or can only take out his real estate as a mortgage guarantee. In short, it is right to open up business, and risk prevention and control must also be in place. In addition to the formal and smooth operation of the three major banks, the five blood-sucking worms attached to the main blood vessels were finally completely wiped out. The five major mining areas have finally returned to the hands of the big cadres themselves. More than that, all the mining equipment has been left behind, and the big digs are already mining by themselves. Under the anger of the five major consortium forces, they indeed intend to transport all these equipment away. However, it was strongly blocked by the big cadres, and the name is called. These facilities mine Dagon's mineral vein resources on Dagon's land, so these facilities are all Dagon. Just don't hold you accountable, what else do you want to take away? Go dreaming. So these five consortiums all left Dagon in despair. As for what these five consortia will do to Dagon, Dagon can't control it anymore. It is impossible for them to suck Dagon's blood anymore. In addition, with the full speed development these few days, the dying Dagon seemed to have been injected with fresh blood, completely radiant. All industries seem to be full of vitality, and everything is developing in a good direction. The promotion of hybrid rice is very smooth, the establishment of communication companies is in full swing, and roads are also under emergency planning. In addition, according to Qin Feng's requirements, some road sections were contracted out. Dagon was only responsible for payment and acceptance, and the contractor was responsible for the rest. Then, engineering companies have instantly become a major super hot industry in major countries. Just when these industries were thriving, an unexpected incident caused shock across the country, Qin Feng's anger. A capital bank was robbed. How did you become the Shangshu of the criminal ministry? In the meeting room, an angry Qin Feng patted the table, pointing to Shangshu Gaojun, Xiao angrily said. The other cabinet members in the conference room were silent, and no one dared to speak for Gao Junxiao at this time, because everyone could see how angry Qin Feng was at this moment. Ever since Qin Feng became the throne, it can be said that changes have occurred every day. And the most intuitive impact of these changes is that Qin Feng's prestige is getting bigger and bigger, and the popularity of the people is getting higher and higher. This infuriated, both the left and the right were afraid, no matter where they dared to speak for Gao Junxiao. Gao Junxiao was smoking a cigarette silently, and between his eyebrows, he could see a trace of shame and anger. Of course, this trace of his anger could not be directed at Qin Feng, but at the robbers. I have explained more than once that public order, public order, and public order are related to the lives and property safety of the people of the great cadres. We must strike hard, but it's not a good thing. At this critical juncture, the bank was robbed, not to mention that it was robbed. Seventeen people were shot and killed. Qin Feng said angrily, Seventeen lives. Where did their guns come from? Who provided them? How did your criminal ministry crack down on gangs these days? Where did they dare to commit crimes at this juncture? Seventeen lives, three million in cash, and how do the great people think about our great court? How can you trust me to work? How to safely deposit money in the bank? Quote. Qin Feng's anger resounded throughout the huge conference room. The secretaries, assistants, and guards all dared not even make a sound, even if Qin Feng was not targeting them at all, but the power emanating from Qin Feng, who was furious, was really too shocking. There was a fire, and Qin Feng gradually calmed down. It is true that a total of 17 lives made him too angry, and it is still at the most critical juncture of the development, this is simply to unscrupulously provoke the bottom line of his emperor. Immediately, his tone was full of strong murderousness, and he sternly said, immediately use all resources to hunt down this gang of gangsters. I only give you one day, only one day. I must see all the news of these gangsters. 
life or death. At the same time, the Ministry of Law immediately drafted a weapon prohibition bill, and all firearms and counterfeit firearms are never allowed to be privately owned. In addition, weapons such as long knives and long swords over 13 centimeters, as well as weapons with blood grooves, are not allowed to be privately owned. Have. Holders must be punished with heavy penalties. Of course, in the early stage of the Weapons Ban Act, holders can be allowed to turn in by themselves, and those who turn in by themselves will not bear any legal responsibility. But after this period of time has passed, whoever hides or holds these weapons in private must enter the criminal law. Quote. Liu Yuan, Shangshu of the legal department, immediately said loudly, yes. The criminal department Shangshu Gaojun Shao said with a murderous look, I, the criminal department, promise to complete the task. Qin Feng's eyes flashed coldly, remember, during this hunt, Dagan's official media will follow up and report the whole process, and will announce the progress of the chase to the Dagan people in real time. Whether you can avenge the 17 dead people, whether you can restore my reputation as a leader, and whether you can rest assured that the people can store their money in the bank, it depends on your actions. Quote. Gao Junxiao also sent a ruthless message, Your Majesty, please rest assured, if within 24 hours, our criminal department cannot apprehend all those gangsters, I will resign from Gao Junxiao. Qin Feng nodded in satisfaction, Okay, then you do it right away. Yes, Gao Junxiao replied, turning around and leaving without saying a word. The bloody murderous aura shows how deeply Gao Junxiao is wicked towards those gangsters this time. And what caused him to be so murderous was that he had failed his majesty's trust in one aspect, and in another aspect, he felt that he was too ashamed. Nowadays, the development of the chief executive is in full swing, and any department is progressing quite smoothly, but he has such a big problem in the criminal department. On a larger scale, it was his criminal ministry that hindered the development of Da Gan. Why? Two days after the bank was established, it turned out to be good, and it was robbed. 17 people died and robbed 3 million in cash. Who dares to go to the bank to deposit money? Who would dare to deposit money in the bank? Therefore, it is not unreasonable to say that the affairs of the Ministry of Criminal Affairs hindered the development of Dakion. He is very young and can't afford to lose this face. 24 hours. Do not. He wants to bring that gang of gangsters to justice within 12 hours, 8 hours, or even less, and give an explanation to your majesty and the whole university. Gao Jun Zhaofeng left in a hurry. The atmosphere in the conference room is still a bit solemn. Qin Feng said indifferently, well, let this matter be handled by the Ministry of Justice, and we will discuss our own affairs. Hearing Qin Feng's words, everyone couldn't help but relax a little, and the atmosphere became soothed. Wu Shansheng, the left minister of the Zhangshu province, took the lead. Your Majesty, now the Ningchang oilfield has entered the stage of re-exploitation, and the daily production volume is also 800,000 barrels of crude oil. How do we deal with this crude oil? Qin Feng did not hesitate to say, this is exactly what I want to say today. Three more oil companies will be established immediately, and gas stations will be opened in major cities in the early stage. Although we don't have a lot of private cars at present, there are still some. When the company develops in the future, there will only be more and more private cars, so the supply of gas stations will have to increase. Of course, in the early days, we certainly couldn't digest so much oil internally. Therefore, except for the part of internal digestion and part of the strategic reserve, the rest of the extracted oil will be stored first. In a few days, I will visit various countries. Then these oil and mineral products will be my stepping stone, and they will be used to exchange a large amount of various materials for us. Therefore, mining cannot be stopped, and even increased production if possible. We have no money now and can only use oil and minerals to replace it. Quote. Wu Shansheng quickly recorded it, and then said, Okay, your majesty. The Ministry of Industry Shangshu Jiu Jiwan then reported, your Majesty, we have recruited a large number of talents from abroad, including many information engineering scientists, who have now invested in the research and development of signal towers and network-based stations. It's just that some industrial infrastructure is not perfect enough. Will we continue to accelerate the construction of industrial infrastructure? Quote. These talents. 
Of course, it is the technology of the signal tower and network base station that Qin Feng exchanged from the system, and then carried by these people. But these words will certainly not be said. Qin Feng did not hesitate to say, of course, the foundation of a country is industry. Industrial machines can be built if they can be built by themselves, and those that cannot be built can be purchased directly. The Ministry of Etiquette Diplomacy has reached preliminary commercial agreements with many countries, so these can be accelerated without considering the issue of money, and this is not the time to consider these. Quote. Yes. The bank robbery in Taiyu City shocked the whole country. Seventeen people were killed and twelve were injured. In broad daylight, he robbed him of three million kianyuan in cash. After that, he fled all the way, until now he has not been caught. The people were angry and the court was furious. His Majesty Qin Feng slapped the table and yelled at him. His Majesty requested that all gangsters be arrested within 24 hours, whether they are alive or dead, or the fact that the Shangshu of the criminal ministry has been withdrawn is now widely known. The people are friendly, and the entire penal department is under pressure that has never been seen before. Shangshu Gaojun Xiaoyi of the criminal department arrived at the criminal department in a special car with a gloomy expression. The first time he arrived, he immediately convened a plenary meeting of the criminal department. At the meeting, Gao Junxiao was full of anger, and patted the table, his anger spread throughout the meeting room. 12 hours, your majesty will give me 24 hours, but I will only give you 12 hours. I have repeatedly emphasized that since the day when his majesty became the throne, there must be no gangs. All fights and fights must be punished, and some conspiracy arrests within the criminal ministry must be dealt with with the most severe means. But now, this is your answer to me. Ah, how many days have passed since? Those gangsters were caught almost three or five small shrimps. Although the gangs were not as rampant as before, they were still active. Is it true that I don't know anything? What I want is to get rid of them, to get rid of those gang members. Forget this, now it is an accident that broke 17 deaths, or was shot in broad daylight. Shame. What a shame of our torture department. I tell you that after 12 hours, if none of the robbers is arrested, then I will open you all before I resign. I do what I say. Quote. Gao Junxiao's beating and scolding made the needle drop in the entire conference room audible, and everyone was calm and silent. There was a fire, and Gao Junxiao said coldly, now, immediately mobilize all the capture forces in Taiyu City, and at the same time, let all the captured teams in other cities in Taichang province to which Taiyu City belongs, and give me that the entire Taichang province has been blocked. In addition, the helicopter was dispatched for me, all entrances and exits were sealed, and all the forces that could be mobilized were mobilized to search for me. Act now, now, now. Quote. Following Gao Zhen's order, the entire penalty department moved quickly. In fact, the entire criminal department is full of anger and anger. Anyway, this account is recorded. After the gang of gangsters are arrested, those gangs and the arresters who are still collaborating with those gangs are waiting. Bar. According to their understanding, this group of gangsters are really gang members of a certain gang in Taiyu City. The firearms were also provided by the gang. In short, after the incident, everything will be settled when the ledger is settled. The atmosphere in Taichang province became extremely tense. On the streets, you can see a team of hunters pursuing murderously, but whenever anyone sees any suspicious person, they will immediately come forward and ask them in the most detailed manner. At the same time, the gang members in the entire Taichang province have been hit hardest in history. One after another, the gang members were caught in the Yaman, from Xiaoyu to the boss, none of them were let go. Moreover, there are occasional helicopters roaring over Taichang province. Although Dagon is currently poor, there are still so many helicopters in a province. These helicopters are all used, and there are special catchers on standby all the time. Whenever there is any discovery, the helicopter will rush over at the fastest speed and send these special hunters out. Not only that, Taichang Provincial Governor's Mansion and Taiyu City Admiral's Mansion have also mobilized the power of the people. As long as the people can provide clues to the gang of gangsters, they will be rewarded quite generously. And under such a rigorous sweep, the gang of gangsters assumed that they quickly disappeared. At 2 hours and 33 minutes after the start of the operation, the trail of the gang was finally found, and a large number of arrests rushed to the scene at full speed, and the helicopters rushed out as soon as possible. 
That gang of gangsters are desperados, and they still have guns in their hands, so they shouldn't be careless. At 3 hours and 11 minutes, a remote warehouse where the gang was located was surrounded by countless arrests. There were helicopters in the sky, and the helicopters were also carrying heavy firepower like machine guns. That scene was almost like a battle. Faced with such a terrifying battle, the gangsters finally collapsed and gave up their weapons and surrendered. At 3 hours and 15 minutes, this group of seven desperados were all apprehended, and 3 million cash was also seized. The criminal ministry finally handed in a satisfactory answer to all the Dagon people and the Dagon emperor. On the second day, the Ministry of Justice opened the sentence as quickly as possible, and announced on the spot that all seven people had been sentenced to death and were executed immediately. In the afternoon of the same day, seven people were taken to the execution ground to execute the death sentence, and the media followed up and reported the whole process. Since then, this time the bank robbery was completely over. The people saw Da Gan's determination and his uncompromising attitude towards the gangsters. Banks everywhere returned to their former liveliness. Of course, there is another reason for the people to be so relieved, that is, all banks have arranged quick patrols to ensure that such incidents never happen again. The mass robbery for the people is over, but the criminal ministry's actions have just begun. That is to say, since this day, a large number of arrests have been arrested, and even one of the incidents has affected a deputy governor. The gangs and gangsters have been hit the most. It can be said that in almost a day, all gangs and gangsters across the country have completely disappeared. There are no more gangsters with cigarettes on the roadside, and incidents of robbery and blackmail have completely disappeared in the lives of the people. The follow-up situation triggered by this incident is that the entire Dagon's public security has come to a harmony that has never been seen before. No matter how beautiful the girl is, she can walk safely on the street at 3 o'clock in the morning, not only don't worry about being in danger, but even those blind streamers who strike up a conversation can't see one. It has become more honest one by one. In a few days, many arrests, gangsters, and gang leaders received the most severe trial. The law and order of the whole team became more harmonious, especially on the day of the trial. The whole team created a miracle. Event. This whole day, the crime rate is zero. Not even petty theft. Certainly. This is just because these people are really completely frightened by the harsh methods of the big work, but with the passage of time, the crime rate will certainly not really become zero. It can only be said that it is not a problem to make Dakion the safest country in the world, but if the crime rate is always maintained at zero, it will certainly not be true. And just on this day, His Majesty Qin Feng, Emperor Dagon, took his entourage and boarded the special plane to the Eagle Nation. A total of hundreds of people accompanied Qin Feng to the Eagle Country. Among them are Wei Xiren, the official book of the Ministry of Etiquette, Sun Ming Li, the official book of the Ministry of Commerce, 36 guards, Qin Feng's secretary and assistant, translator, and the rest of the Ministry of Etiquette and Commerce. Da Gan is very poor, it is undeniable. But he has never been poor enough for the royal family. As the Emperor of Dagon, this 7900K manufactured by the world's top aircraft manufacturer, Flying Villa, has ultra-long distance flight capability and ultra-high comfort. The external price of the standard model exceeds 200 million Eagle Yuan. And like the modified Qin Feng, the price is as high as 300 million Eagle Yuan. But it is a pity that the area of Balanxing is too large. Even if it is the longest flying aircraft in the world, it still has to land at several airports, refuel, and then take off again. And it is precisely because of the large area of the world that an absolutely public airport has been derived as a passenger plane stop. The so-called absolute public airport is an airport launched by the Blue Star Global Federation, which is located in various parts of the world, mainly on the ocean. This kind of public airport only allows passenger planes and private planes to dock. Fighters and other military planes are not allowed to land, otherwise they will be shot down directly by airport air defense scuds without any condemnation, including the Eagle State must comply. As for the Azure Star Global Federation, it is a public organization composed of various countries in the world, and it is not the United Nations, because the Global Federation will not take care of contradictions in any country or things that fight or not fight. The main role of the Global Federation is to manage public airports, the global ecological environment, and nuclear weapons. 
Other than that, everything else is ignored. Therefore, the existence of a global federation will not only not touch the interests of any country, but also safeguard the interests of all countries and all human beings. As a result, all countries have spontaneously joined and abide by it. Since its establishment, there has been no violation of the global federal law, happen. With the existence of an absolutely public airport, although the distance to Eagle Country is very far this trip, there is no need to worry about safety during the flight. After flying to a certain distance, just land and refuel and continue flying, which is not a problem at all. At the same time when Chin Feng set off, Chin Feng was invited to pay a state visit to the Eagle Nation. It was also reported on the internet and on TV, not to mention the attention it attracted. One is the current world's only superpower, and the other is the world's only superpower. Moreover, this once only superpower has been closed for many years. This time, it is true contact with the outside world, and it has naturally attracted attention from all sides. The Eagle Nation also attached great importance to Qin Feng's visit, and made a series of arrangements in advance, only waiting for Qin Feng's arrival. Qin Feng was on the plane and almost didn't have much rest. He was dealing with various things all the time. For example, after these days of full-speed development, many industries and businesses have appeared across the country. Every day, countless factories, companies, and shops are opened. Countless people apply to work in them, and countless talents are recruited. Basic factories, light industry, heavy industry, internet, finance, food, hotels, restaurants, supermarkets, clothing, fishing, aquaculture, etc. have all emerged one by one, and even real estate has begun to be developed. The most intuitive result of this is that a large number of talents have been hired with high salaries, a large number of workers have left the arable land, and the economy has rapidly circulated and become active. It is a flourishing scene. With the full support of the Ministry of Finance, the established three major communications companies began to rapidly lay out signals and networks. Financial experts hired by the three major banks with high salaries have also begun to investigate the domestic and international investment markets. The hybrid rice quandagan has been promoted, and the first seeds have been planted and are only waiting to be harvested. As for the military factory that Qin Feng is most concerned about, the one that has been completed the fastest has entered the production chain. According to the current technological level of Dagon, only ammunition, firearms, rocket launchers, etc. are produced in mass production, but it does not matter. Expanding production capacity is also very important, because Dagon has been facing the problem of shortage of these materials before, and now it must be timely. To make up, at least ensure that the front line has enough ammunition support. The problem caused by such rapid development is that the original national treasury of 200 billion Qianyuan is now less than 100 billion. The consumption is scary, but Qin Feng is not particularly worried, because it won't be long before I believe it's time to harvest. Although it may not be possible to collect much tax at that time, at least it will be okay to barely maintain it. It took three full days to fly in the sky before finally arriving in the Western Hemisphere Eagle Country. Flying in the plane for three days and three nights, this is a link that Qin Feng has never experienced before on the Earth, and it is the kind of flying at full speed. Otherwise, it won't arrive in two days, and it may take longer. At this time, the official airports of Eagle Country and White Eagle City. The official airport, as the name suggests, is an airport officially established by the Eagle Country's Imperial Court. It is used exclusively for the country's masters and others, as well as the airport for the takeoff and landing of foreign masters' planes. These people, of course, cannot take off and land from the international airport. First, it will affect the normal travel of ordinary civilians. Second, there are too many people and too many people, and security prevention and control work is very difficult to do. Including Dagon, there is also an official airport in Gandu. At this time, the official airport of the Eagle Nation has been tightly protected. There are ceremonial soldiers, red carpets, security personnel scattered everywhere, quick catchers, and a large number of reporters waiting with guns and guns. The one who came to pick up the plane was Russell, the vice lord of the Eagle Nation, and the specifications were quite high. It can be seen that the Eagle Country really attaches great importance to Qin Feng's visit. 
Soon, a huge plane could be seen from the sky slowly flying towards this side, and soon it landed on the ground. Then, under the guidance of the ground crew, he stopped beside the red carpet and aligned the hatch to the red carpet. Everyone is ready to meet. Needless to say, reporters, the flash kept flashing, and then the reporters explained in front of the cameras. In the eyes of the public, the airport gangway was slowly lowered, and after it was completely lowered, several vigorous black figures quickly walked out of it. These black figures were all the same black suits, wearing sunglasses and white headsets. The first time they came out, a few people ran under the gangway and stood there. The eyes behind the sunglasses scanned the surrounding vigilantly. Not surprisingly, these are all personal guards of Qin Feng. As the Dagon Emperor, Qin Feng's personal guards certainly can't have only those six people. Those six guards are just personal guards when they are in the palace, and Qin Feng really has more than 200 guards. After these guards came down, Qin Feng finally appeared at the gangway. The moment he appeared, the flashing lights were connected together, and the music of the ceremonial soldiers also sounded simultaneously. Full of solemnity and solemnity. Solemn and passionate music resounded throughout this world. Ceremonial soldiers dressed in red ceremonial uniforms played high-spirited music. Under the aircraft gangway and on both sides of the red carpet, there were two rows of men and women standing neatly. These soldiers were dressed in green, blue, and white land, air, and sea dresses. They were holding shiny ceremonial rifles. They looked at Qin Feng coming down from the gangway, and their eyes moved with Qin Feng's movement. Everything seemed so solemn. At the same time, Russell, the vice lord of the Eagle Nation, brought the translator, entourage, and several diplomats of the Eagle Nation to greet him with smiles. When Qin Feng completely walked off the gangway, he immediately extended his right hand to hold Qin Feng tightly. Hold tightly together. At the same time, he said, Welcome His Majesty Qin Feng to visit our Eagle Nation. On behalf of the Eagle Nation and our Lord, I welcome your arrival. The translator next to him immediately translated his words into dry language. After listening to it, Qin Feng also smiled and said, Thank you very much and I am very honored to welcome you, Mr. Russell. From the moment I arrive, I will be able to I feel the enthusiasm of your country, thank you very much. After Qin Feng finished speaking, the beautiful female translator he brought with him also immediately translated Qin Feng's words into Spanish. The smile on Russell's face grew a little bit more, and he immediately introduced Qin Feng to come with him. Entourage. Qin Feng also introduced the Shangshu to him. After both parties shook hands, the two walked towards the end of the red carpet together. As for other personnel, they do not have the qualifications to travel together, and can only follow the side road. Walking on the red carpet, I heard the passionate music of ceremonial soldiers, and on either side were soldiers standing straight, their eyes moving as the two walked around. Until the red carpet walked, the welcome ceremony at the airport was completed. In fact, there are welcoming ceremonies with higher specifications. For example, if the one with the highest specifications is met, the host will personally greet them, and after walking the red carpet, they will also board the podium to read these ceremonial soldiers together. But now this specification is already very high. Comparing the status of the two sides in the world, this reception ceremony has no shortcomings, unless it waits for the day when the major powers truly reach the top of the world, they don't need to be. Number one in the world, just need to keep up with the pace of other countries, then the ceremony will definitely take the highest form. Of course, the premise is that the relationship between the two parties is very good, otherwise the Eagle Nation will not bring the invitation, and Qin Feng will not bring it either. At the end of the red carpet, there are luxurious bulletproof cars. Several of them are lengthened sedans, all of which are customized bulletproof models for Qin Feng, Russell, and ministers of the Dagon side. As for the rest of the entourage, they can only ride in the non-bulletproof cars at the back. The guards on the side of Dagon have assigned some oversized bulletproof SUVs to drive them. These cars are specially provided for the guards of Qin Feng. It is specially designed for Qin Feng's guards to provide all-round protection for Qin Feng. Of course, the security personnel of the Eagle Nation also followed. In a convoy of dozens of vehicles, there were seven fast-tracking motorcycles flashing warning lights and honking their horns to clear the way. 
More than that, the road all the way to the Eagle Head Palace was temporarily blocked, and only the convoy was allowed to pass. Many people gathered on both sides of the road, and many of them even came to see the Emperor Dagon. These great cadres came to and stayed in the Eagle Nation for various reasons, but it does not mean that they have no great work in their hearts. Dagon is their root, and when the Dagon Emperor arrives, how could they not watch? It's a pity that the Eagle Nation is a country where guns are indispensable and the guns are extremely flooded. Qin Feng deliberately greeted these leaders, but the guards refused to allow Qin Feng to lower the lift glass, but Qin Feng could only give up. The motorcade roared all the way to the Eagle Head Palace. At this moment, the inside and outside of the Eagle Head Palace were also full of reporters and staff, as well as guards and catchers. The Eagle Nation has always been doing quite exaggerated safety in this area. But it is understandable. After all, gun killings often happen in the Eagle Nation, and it is understandable that the security work has been more rigorous. The convoy drove straight into the Eagle Head Palace, and then stopped at the gate of the Eagle Head Palace. And Benedict, the Eagle Nation's lord, was already waiting here, with a very warm smile on his face. This passion, Qin Feng sitting in the car didn't have the slightest surprise seeing the other party's warm smile. Because if it's him, who will give me money and resources, I'm so enthusiastic. I am more enthusiastic than anyone else. Without interest, people would be so enthusiastic. No, let alone those who are not enthusiastic, maybe they won't take care of you, let alone invite you to visit. For example, when the Blue Star is a small, weak country leader with no resources, do you think Benedict will take care of you? That's the reason. The extended bulletproof car may not have stopped, and the guards of Qin Feng have overtaken the vehicles and surrounded them. Then, when the vehicle just stopped, one of the guards opened the door and put his hand on the top of the basket, to prevent Qin Feng from hitting his head when he comes out. As soon as I got out of the car, the flashing light kept on again, Qin Feng walked up the steps, and Benedict was greeted with a bright smile. When the two of them grasped their hands, they were still holding hands, and the smiles on their faces were very bright. As the host, Benedict was the first to speak. His Majesty Qin Feng, welcome you to visit our eagle country, welcome. The translation immediately translated, and Qin Feng also said with a smile, Mr. Benedict, thank you for your warm welcome. I believe this will be a very good start for our two countries. Benedict laughed, and then said, that's for sure, and it's what I expected. Come, let's take a picture together. As they said, the two clasped their hands tightly, and then turned slightly to face the cameras. The flashes flashed continuously, and then the two let go of their hands, and after introducing each other's personnel, they all walked into the Eagle Head Palace. Naturally, it is impossible to bring Qin Feng to the office of Yingtu Palace, but a place to welcome guests. Walking into it while talking and laughing, the scene seemed quite harmonious. However, what Qin Feng didn't know was that when he was chatting with Benedict, the country of macaques also quietly welcomed some people. Unlike Qin Feng's visit to Eagle Country, everything is contacted in private and secretly. If Jia Fengqing were here, he would definitely recognize who these people were at first glance. Especially the most conspicuous figure, who is not Carson from the Philo Consortium. A conspiracy against a major country was also quietly unfolded when Qin Feng and Benny Jacket exchanged greetings. If you want to say which kind of person is the most greedy in this world, it must be a capitalist. And if anyone in this world can be desperate for their own interests, then it must be a consortium of capitalists. The five major consortiums that have absorbed the trillions of eagle dollars in the major powers not only did not feel grateful and content with the majors, but in their opinion, the behavior of the majors recklessly driving them away, filled their hearts with resentment. I never thought that they bought so many resources at such a low price and developed them for decades. Isn't it a scam that bullied Da Qian didn't understand at the time? The five major consortiums with grievances discussed so, and they were immediately prepared to retaliate against the big cadres. They decided that they must let the big cadres see that their consortium is definitely not easy to provoke, and they should also let the big cadres see that they provoke them. What kind of trouble the consortium will face in the future? It must be wishful thinking to extinguish Dagon, but, is it okay to fund the forces that are hostile to Dagon? What they have is money, and they have made a lot of money in these years, and the money is almost overflowing. 
It just so happened that this country of macaques was at war with Dagon again, and they came here, thinking of giving Dagon a profound lesson. In addition, he also got in touch with the head of the macaque country. The head of the macaque country was naturally overjoyed, and immediately sent someone to pick them up in secret, and began to discuss how to deal with the great leaders. The macaque country, a small country in China, is a small country at least for Dagon. With a total area of 700,000 square kilometers, they were extremely longing for Dagon when they were strong in ancient times. After modern Dagon was weak, they exposed their wolf ambitions. They wanted to occupy the territory of Dagon. A piece of meat comes down. In the palace of the macaque country, after a group of people exchanged greetings, they began formal discussions. Carson said directly, Korulin, our fellow consortium, will give your country a large amount of cash support to support your country's large purchase of weapons and equipment. And we only have one request, to give a severe lesson to the big cadres, and then to lay down the Ningchang city of the big cadres. Of course, it belongs to your macaque country. We only need the oil fields of Ningchang city. Quote. No matter how resentful, these interestists will certainly not spend a lot of money to do things that are not profitable because of their resentment. Ningchang City, almost at the border of Dagon and Macaque Country, may have to go a little inside, but the distance is not particularly far. The five major consortia believe that with their support, with the current strength of the major powers, there should be no problem in taking down Ningchang City. When the time comes, the five major consortiums will explore the Ningchang oilfield together. Perhaps the benefits will be divided into five parts, but the attractiveness of the oil field is too great. Even if it is divided into five parts, it will be an extremely huge benefit for them. There are still more than 80 billion barrels of reserves. How many trillions of crude oil has been sold? The king of the macaque country certainly won't refuse, with a bright smile on his face, and he did not hesitate to say, with your support, our country of macaques will be confident enough to fight inside. As for the Ningchang city you are talking about, don't worry, as long as we hit Ningchang city, then Ningchang oilfield must be yours. Quote. Carson and other representatives of the five major consortia also showed smiles. Carson said, well, Mr. Lord, then you can make a list of requirements now. As long as our consortium can do it, we will do it. After a pause, he added, ah, yes, this time we have to sign an agreement for our cooperation and it must be an agreement signed and stamped in black and white. Kurulin frowned and said, sign the agreement. Is this necessary? Carson nodded very positively. Very, very necessary, this is also a rigid requirement of the consortium behind us. As the saying goes, this kind of agreement may not have legal effect, but at least after the agreement is signed, the macaque country still dare not arbitrarily violate it. Otherwise, the consortium behind it can use this agreement to do a lot of things, whether it is moral or other aspects, it will make the macaque country have some scruples. Kurulin thought for a while, then nodded and said, no problem, then sign the agreement. Carson suddenly smiled, and then the group began to negotiate in detail. It must be negotiated, we can't say what Kurulin needs. Carson and the others will really provide something unconditionally. For example, if Kululin wants a thousand fifth-generation fighter jets, aircraft carriers, etc., will they agree to it? Not to mention whether they can buy it, they have to have the money to buy it. On the Azure Star, fighter jets are divided into five generations. The first generation was a propeller fighter. The second generation is a jet fighter. The third generation is a jet fighter carrying fire control radar and Scud missiles. The fourth generation is a supersonic fighter. The fifth generation is a supersonic cruise stealth fighter. The division is relatively clear. At present, the mainstream fighters in developed countries in the world are still third generation fighters, and a small number of them have fourth generation fighters. As for the fifth generation fighters, only the Eagle Nation currently owns them. After some negotiations, the five major consortia finally decided to provide the first batch of support for 22nd generation fighters, 21st generation tanks, and two second generation tanks. 100 rocket launchers, 10 anti-aircraft guns, several mainstream light and heavy weapons in the world, and several ammunition for these weapons. It may not seem like a lot, but you have to know that these are the first batch of support, and occupy one-third of the original equipment of the macaque country. 
It is equivalent to directly increasing the level of equipment and ammunition of the Makat country by one third, which is a very large base in the war. The first batch of support has been set, but if these weapons and equipment are in place, it will not be possible to arrive in ten and a half months. The seller needs to be contacted, and in order to prevent it from being known in advance, it cannot be done with fanfare and can only be done in secret. At least one or two months, as long as six months, these weapons and equipment may be in place. No hurry, war is not a day or two. Just when the five major consortia were secretly discussing with the Macaque country, the Eagle country, Chin Fung, also started formal exchanges with Benedict. After resting for a few hours, and enjoying a state banquet at the invitation of Benedict, the exchange finally began. The exchange this time is a private exchange. When the subsequent open exchanges are conducted, reporters will live broadcast, record, etc. on the spot. In the Yingtu Palace welcome meeting room, both parties sat down. Qin Feng and Benedict were sitting in the middle of each side, with flags in front of them, and an assistant behind them recorded the conversation between the two. The talk began. Your Majesty Qin Feng, I am very pleased that our two countries have reached diplomatic relations. At the same time, on behalf of the Eagle Nation, I sincerely invite the Ministry of Ritual of your country to establish a foreign affairs hall in the Eagle Nation to deepen our cooperation in all aspects. Quote. After sitting down, Benedict, as the host, was the first to speak. When he opened his mouth, he directly confirmed the formal diplomatic relationship between the two parties. At the same time, he also invited the leading foreign affairs department to come to Eagle Nation to set up a foreign affairs hall. Qin Feng readily agreed with this proposal and smiled, I am very pleased that we can formally establish diplomatic relations with Eagle Nation, and I am very honored to set up a foreign affairs hall in Eagle Nation. We will proceed with the establishment of the foreign affairs hall very soon. Besides, on behalf of the leading countries, I sincerely invite your country to come to us to set up the Foreign Affairs Hall. Quote. Ha ha, of course, the Foreign Affairs Department of our Eagle Country will definitely go to your country to set up a Foreign Affairs Hall as quickly as possible. Benedict laughed. Since the diplomatic relationship between our two countries has been determined, why not let us talk about other aspects of cooperation? I believe that there will be many aspects of cooperation between our two countries. Qin Feng can nod and say, of course, it is also the main purpose of my visit to your country this time. Benedict was no longer polite, and went straight to the subject, this time your country is fully open to business. Many companies in our eagle country are willing to invest. At that time, I hope that your country can support it, such as taxation. Wait. Qin Feng smiled and said, we are very welcome to work on this. We work hard. We have manpower and prices are very low. In our investment, we will definitely enjoy the full support of the official government. As for taxation, since Mr. Benedict has spoken, I will now take the initiative to lower the overall taxation of foreign companies by 3% to 5%. We will go back to discuss the specifics, but it will certainly not be lower. Less than 3%. Quote. Dagan's commercial taxation is actually similar to or even higher than that of the Eagle Country. The corporate income tax of the Eagle Country is about 15% to 38%. This tax rate is quite high. The specific amount will be calculated according to the final income of the enterprise. If you do it, the tax rate is 20% to 45%, which I have to say is extremely high. In fact, even if Benedict doesn't mention it, Dakion is already adjusting the most appropriate tax rate. It is equivalent to Qin Feng, who is doing a favor, but Benedict didn't know it. He thought that Qin Feng really lowered the tax rate because of his words, which made him very happy. In fact, he may not ask for too much reduction. If he only needs to maintain the same tax rate as the Eagle Country, there will be countless companies going to invest in Dagon. As Qin Feng said, Dagon's prices are too low, and the manpower is too cost-effective. With the same tax rate, the money that can be saved at that time will definitely attract those companies. Your Majesty Qin Feng, you are so generous and sincere. Benny Jacquet smiled all over his face. With your promise, I believe there will be very, very many businessmen willing to invest in big investments. Trust me, this is definitely a win-win cooperation. It's not unreasonable that Benedict is so happy. He was able to negotiate the tax rate with Qin Feng. 
In the eyes of those domestic businessmen and capitalists, he was credited to Benedict. After a pause, he said, We have finished our preliminary business talks. Your Majesty Qin Feng, as far as I know, your country currently has a lot of mineral and petroleum resources under exploitation. I don't know if His Majesty Qin Feng has exported to us. The plan of the Eagle Nation. After listening to Benedict's words, Qin Feng said in his heart that the subject came to the fore. In fact, business dialogue is not so important. Because no matter whether they talk to each other or not, those businessmen who see business opportunities and benefits will still go where they should go, so the real focus is actually cooperation on resources and positions. After taking a deep breath, Qin Feng said solemnly, Mr. Lord, it is true that I came to your country this time with a lot of oil and resources. We are very rich in materials, especially Ningcheng oilfield is the world's third largest oil field resources, we must not be able to digest so many internally. Therefore, this time I brought these resources to buy something with your country, such as weapons production lines, such as various weapons and equipment. I believe that the country's master now knows that our current level of equipment is far behind the world, and we are facing the unprovoked aggression of the macaque country, so we are very eager to obtain a large number of weapons and equipment. Quote. Having said that, Qin Feng stopped talking and said nothing. He is waiting, waiting for Benedict's reply. In fact, he believes that Benedict must have a good idea of his purpose of coming to the Eagle Nation, and now it only depends on how Benedict made his choice. Sure enough, Benedict thought for a moment before he raised his head and said, of course, I am very willing to give your country a certain amount of weapons and equipment to protect your country's security. I also know the relationship between your country and the macaque country. I do not comment on this matter, but I am willing to sell weapons. Quote. Qin Feng suddenly breathed a sigh of relief. At their level, there is a deep meaning behind every sentence. Where can I buy weapons and equipment? As long as you have money, no money and resources, you can buy it anywhere. It is certainly impossible for the Eagle Nation to sell particularly high-end weapons and equipment to the leaders, and the weapons and equipment eliminated by the Eagle Nation are not particularly good. Many countries have the same technology. In that case, why bother to come to Eagle Country to buy it? Above Shenzhou, there are several countries that have quite powerful military technology. Wouldn't it be more convenient to buy in those countries? In fact, the true meaning of purchasing weapons and equipment in the Eagle Nation does not lie in the weapons and equipment itself. But in, since the Eagle Nation is willing to sell these weapons and equipment to Dagon, it proves the attitude of the Eagle Nation. What attitude? It is the war between Dagon and the Macaque country. The Eagle State does not say that it supports it, but it will never stand on the opposite side of Dagon. This attitude is undoubtedly crucial. Regardless of whether Qin Feng is willing to admit that the Eagle Nation is the only superpower on the Blue Star, if he reveals a slight attitude towards the Macaque Nation, then the pressure will be faced by the great leaders. It will be very, very big. This is undeniable, and its influence is really so great. And it's not just the Eagle Country. Including those big countries in China, Qin Feng will use this to test their attitude when visiting them later. No way. Dagon is too weak now, the attitude of these big countries is really very important, no matter how frustrated and helpless, they can only bear it silently. Otherwise, any big country will secretly support the macaque country, that big cadre will be very uncomfortable. So the root cause of all this is that Dagon is too weak. Perhaps when the Dagon rises completely, it is no longer the Dagon who cares about the attitude of these countries. It's that these countries have to pay attention to the attitude of working hard all the time. Be strong. It's the root. You think you have earned it, but I am actually earning blood. In the final negotiation, both parties were more satisfied, and both believed that they had taken a big advantage. The final result of the negotiations on weapons and equipment is that the Eagle Nation will sell it for the great leaders. A total of 80 S-20 fighters, the third generation fighter jets. The second generation bombers, N-16 bombers totaling 20. The second generation ships, 5 battleships of USS Cade. The second generation submarine, 5 conventionally powered submarines of Type 107. 80 Flying Eagle armed helicopters. 50 units of Kuru-2 low-altitude air defense Scud, and some Scud ammunition. 
There are 20 base-based mid-range ground-to-ground scuds and a number of ammunition. It's roughly these things. There must be a lot of things to buy. For example, 80 fighter jets are simply too little for a large army with a territorial area of 18.66 million square kilometers. There are also various models of scuds that can be purchased, as well as tanks and so on. But Qin Feng did not buy all these things in the hands of Eagle Country. The first is to buy too many large-scale weapons and equipment at one time, and transportation is a big problem. Secondly, he also needs to leave enough space to go to the big country in China to make purchases. And the most important thing is that he doesn't want to spend too much money to buy these things at once, just because he believes that with systematic help, he will soon be able to produce some weapons and equipment by himself. This may be a fantasy for other countries. You may not even be able to produce the first generation fighter jets. You still want to produce the third generation fighters and higher. This is true including those scuds and so on. In fact, according to normal logic, it is definitely impossible. But, Qin Feng has system help. As long as the basic industry is in place, he can exchange the corresponding technology directly in the system. Take fighter jets as an example. Maybe the fourth generation or even the fifth generation fighters are not enough to produce, but the third generation fighters, which do not require too high technical content, are not a problem. In addition to weapons and equipment, some industrial machines are also purchased by Qin Feng. Such as high-precision machine tools. The Eagle Nation has agreed to sell to Dagon. Because at present, the Eagle Nation has not realized how terrifying the potential of Dagon. After all, the current gap between the two countries is really too big. One is the only superpower on Bilan Star, and one is just a second-class small country. The gap in the middle is terrifyingly big, and the Eagle Nation has never felt that doing a big job is a threat. Moreover, high-precision machine tools are available in many countries. The real cutting-edge technology of Eagle Country will definitely not be sold. For example, the real core machine tools of Eagle Country are ultra-high-precision machine tools. Therefore, high-precision machine tools have been developed in Qin Feng. After making him unable to refuse the price, he decided to sell it to Dagon without much consideration. In addition to high-precision machine tools, there are also many high-tech industrial production equipment, as long as they are not of the core technology, they are all sold to the chief executives. Of course, the cost is amazing, and the total value of these things is not even less than the arms, but Qin Feng feels that these things are more worthwhile than the arms. Because with these equipment, let alone the real high-end weapons and equipment, at least the production of low and mid-range weapons and equipment, there is no need to worry anymore. As long as the basic industry can keep up, and Qin Feng only needs to exchange the technology of a third-generation machine in the system, then there is no need to worry about the industry not being able to keep up and not being able to produce it, and it can be produced at any time. The results represented by this are naturally self-evident. It can be said that with these equipment, Dagon has truly achieved a huge industrial leap. By then, a small country like the Macaque country, it can be extinguished in minutes. The only real threats to the leaders are those countries above the developed countries with higher military technology. In the end, the cost of the negotiation still exceeded Qin Feng's imagination. Anyway, the oil and minerals for a long period of time will be transported to the Eagle country, and at a very low price. This is also normal. If it weren't for the fact that the prices of oil and minerals were all several percent lower than the normal prices, how could Benedict be willing to sell so many weapons and equipment, especially those high-tech industrial equipment? It is precisely because these weapons and equipment and industrial equipment can make a lot of money, but oil and minerals can still make a lot of money, which is equivalent to making a lot of money. Benedict cannot refuse and sell these things. To Qin Feng. Of course, what's more important is that Benedict is not very worried about the impact on the Eagles after selling those industrial equipment to the leaders. Let's compare it with fighter jets. Yes, the equipment sold to Dagon is enough to produce a third-generation fighter jet. But, the equipment is just equipment, without the corresponding fighter technology, you can't produce it for you. Otherwise, why are there so many developed countries with sophisticated industrial equipment in the world? but only the Eagle Nation owns the fifth-generation fighter jets. Technology is the real root. 
It's like giving these equipment to the macaque country. It is impossible for the macaque country to create a third generation fighter jet, and it is impossible for the second generation. Because they don't have that technical reserve, there is no possibility of creation at all. Last of the last, what if you can build a third generation machine? There is no threat to the Eagle Nation where the mainstream fighters are all fourth generation fighters, not to mention that this situation is unlikely to happen. Perhaps it will take decades for Dagan to develop science and technology, and only when the technical reserve is sufficient and the talent reserve is sufficient, will it be possible to build a third generation machine. At that time, I am afraid that the sixth generation and even the seventh generation fighters of the Eagle Nation have come out, so do you have to worry about this. Anyway, Benedict thought that way, and he hadn't worried at all. But how can I think of it, the young emperor in front of him is actually a plug-in. It is impossible to think of it even if he breaks his head. When he reacted, everything was too late. At that time, it was beyond containment. Dot dot dot. Chin Feng is satisfied with the results of this meeting with Benedict. Benedict thought he made a big profit, but in fact, Chin Feng is the real big profit. Borrowing a well-known online phrase in the previous life. You think I'm on the first floor, but I'm on the tenth floor. Yes, the oil and mineral resources that I spend are indeed not equivalent to those things. However, the meaning of doggone is quite different. These equipments do have an upper limit, but they can be used to produce more advanced equipment. Then use more advanced equipment to produce more advanced military technology. At present, it is so difficult because it can be said that it is zero foundation. But now with these foundations, everything will become different. Or, the day of great success is here. In the evening, Eagle Country hosted a rather grand banquet. Participants are no longer limited to official personnel, and many businessmen, entrepreneurs, and capitalists are also invited to come. The purpose of inviting these people to come is very clear, that is, to talk about various matters related to the investment of the leaders. These businessmen are undoubtedly more interested in this, especially those industrialists, one by one behaved very enthusiastically. From ordinary supplies to electronic supplies, these businessmen are very interested. Yes, Dakion's current industrial technology is very poor. But if they go to Dagon to invest and build a factory, they can take the production line with them by themselves. Is it difficult? Will the cost saved by that time not be enough for the freight from these production lines to Dagon? What a joke. The chief secretary of the Ministry of Commerce, Sun Ming Li, and his subordinates were also very enthusiastic in answering the questions of these businessmen, striving to maximize their investment. The benefits of their investment are all aspects. Not only can it bring countless jobs and provide a lot of tax revenue, but it can also drive the rapid rise and development of other industries. When these companies produce things, they always need raw materials, right? Do you need a variety of parts to produce mobile phones? These can all drive the rise of related companies, and these rising companies can provide a large number of jobs and a large amount of tax revenue. In short, the benefits are too many. Wei Shiren, the official letter of the Ministry of Etiquette, led his subordinates and talked to the people of the Foreign Affairs Department of the Eagle Nation. The maintenance and handling of the relationship between the two sides will be their business in the future, so it is certainly not harmful to be familiar with and contact in advance. You can't just let Chin Feng or Benedict go call the other party in person to solve the problem, right? What does the Department of Foreign Affairs do? As for Chin Feng, he was chatting with Benedict, the senior officials of the Eagle Nation, and the real super capital predators of the Eagle Nation, and only such true super capital predators can be qualified to integrate into Chin. Come in Feng's conversation at this level. These super capital predators all control the wealth that can shake a country, and they are the people who truly stand on the top of the world's pyramid with wealth. The dinner went very smoothly, all parties were quite satisfied and achieved what they wanted to achieve. After a night of rest at the state guest hotel arranged by Eagle Country, the next day, accompanied by Benedict, strolled around some famous places in White Eagle City. In the afternoon, the two sides finally opened a press conference for the first time, publicly expressing that the two sides are very satisfied with this negotiation, confirming the formal diplomatic relations between the two sides, and at the same time having very large cooperation in the commercial and military fields.
At the press conference, Chin Feng talked to reporters from all over the world, chatting about the big guns, and let the world know them. The continuous flashing light also passed Chin Feng's speech to every corner of the world. The end of the press conference also represents the end of this visit. However, it is a pity that the current national power of the major leaders is still too weak, and the cooperation with the Eagle Nation has not attracted much attention. Because the current leaders have almost no influence on the world structure, and those who are really affected are only those businessmen who have taken a fancy to the cost and market of the leaders. At the moment of leaving the Eagle Nation, Chin Feng finally opened the system panel to watch the specific parameters of the Eagle Nation. The system's observing capabilities are not only for observing major countries, but can be observed by any country in the world. The reason why I did not observe the data of Eagle Country before is because Chin Feng does not want to be affected by these data. Now that the goal of coming to the Eagle Nation has been achieved, it doesn't matter that the image is not affected. From this look, Chin Feng also fell into a wry smile. He was very fortunate, fortunate that he hadn't observed the specific data of the Eagle Nation before this, otherwise he really didn't know how much he would be affected. Information of the Eagle Country National System State Ownership Current Country Owner Benedict Prado Official Language Spanish Continent Beishijo National Climate Multi-Monsoon Climate Land Area 23,749,500 square kilometers. National population, 719 million. National capital, White Eagle City. Domestic GDP, 519,126.23 billion kianyuan. GDP per capita, 56,325 kianyuan. National happiness, S+. Plus. National science and technology, SSS. Military force, SSS. Comprehensive national strength, superpower. Chin Feng looked silent for a long time. Even Chin Feng counted the numbers displayed on the back of the domestic GPD in Eagle Country, and finally had to confirm the authenticity of the numbers. What is the concept of a GDP of 51 trillion nearly 52 trillion kianyuan? Last year, Dagan's annual GDP was only 819.9 billion and people are 51 trillion. Dagan doesn't even have a leader. Needless to say, the per capita GDP, and the national technology and military strength are all the highest values of SSS. Only the national happiness index is only S+, but this is understandable. The countries with the highest happiness index must be those countries with very small areas but high incomes and very good environments. But with this data, Chin Feng was really silent and didn't say a word. The road to a superpower is indeed a long way to go. Take a deep breath and put it down for the time being. He believes that if you work hard, one day you will be able to reach such a height, and even, exceed such a height. He firmly believes. Dot dot dot. The next few stations are the countries next to the Eagle Nation. They are all developed powers in the world at present, and they are among the best in the world in terms of economy, environment, or military. The biggest goal of these countries is to smoothly establish diplomatic relations with each other, and they all proceeded smoothly. For more than a month, Chin Feng flew everywhere and ran in various countries, spending more time in the sky than on the ground. And on this day, Chin Feng finally came to the last stop of this visit, which is also the most powerful country in China. War Bear Country Actually, Zanjiang Nation is really strong, there is no doubt about this. However, the war bear country is not a developed power, not even a developed power. The main reason is that the development of the war bear nation was too extreme. The military strength was extremely strong, but the economy was extremely backward. In terms of military strength, Zanjiang nation is definitely among the top 10 in the world. There is no doubt about this. Specifically, it should be ranked 7th or 8th and the higher ranking is occupied by developed and powerful countries on several continents such as Prairie Island, Nanshijo, and Tujo. As soon as he arrived in the War Bear Nation, Chin Feng directly turned on the system to observe the situation in the War Bear Nation. With the terror data of the Eagle Nation in the front, it is no longer possible to be shocked by the data of other countries. He is mentally prepared enough. Information of the War Bear Kingdom. National System. State Ownership. Current country owner, 
Julius Geraldo. Official language, bear language. Continent, China. National climate, temperate cold zone climate. Land area, 14.042, 500 square kilometers. National population, 369 million. National capital, war bear city. Domestic GDP, 2264.778 billion kianyuan. GDP per capita, 13,648 kianyuan. National happiness, C. National science and technology, S. Military force, SS. Comprehensive national power, developing a big country. Dot dot dot. With the Eagle Nation in front, this data of the war bear nation is not so surprising. However, the military strength of SS is worthy of being the eighth in the world. The Blue Star has a huge area and is divided into 10 continents, namely Shenzhou, Prairie Island, Beishizhou, Nanshizhou, Tuzhou, Yulinzhou, Desert Island, Central Oceania, Arctic Island, and South Ice Island. Dagon is located on China, and it is also the country with the largest area in China, but the most powerful country is the War Bear Country. In addition to the War Bear Kingdom, there are two other developed countries, namely the Crested Ibis Kingdom and the Zebra Tiger Kingdom. These two countries are very small in size, but their economy and military are not weak. Even the Crested Ibis was one of the world's hegemons, but later became lonely because of the years of war, but even so, because of the development of science and technology, it has an extremely good position in the world. I have to say that Dagon's current situation is indeed not very good, because it is next to the War Bear Kingdom to the north, the Crested Ibis Kingdom and the Zebra Tiger Kingdom to the east, and it is also adjacent to many countries, and the relationship is not very good, skirmishes happen from time to time. As the saying goes, everyone is not guilty and guilty. The large area is too large and the product resources are too rich. They have been coveted by these countries from ancient times to the present, but these countries are more solemn, unlike the macaque country. Acts of aggression were taken. But the relationship is definitely not good. Even the war bear nation has invaded and occupied a large piece of land in Dagon without returning it. The welcoming ceremony of the war bear nation is the same as that of other countries, and the vice lord personally came to greet him at the airport. After that, catching quickly drove the car whistling and clearing the road, the scene was very spectacular. Finally arrived at the war bear palace in war bear city, and its Lord Julius Geraldo was already waiting at the door, and he also attached great importance to Qin Feng's arrival. After all, both belong to China, and at the same time face great pressure from many countries in the world, especially Tuzhou, which is adjacent to China, has a very poor relationship between the developed countries, powerful countries and the war-bearing states. I really want to have a good relationship. After another discussion, the Zanjiang nation's attitude towards Dagon was more kind than Qin Feng imagined. Not only did he agree to sell 103rd generation fighters to Dagon, he also agreed to buy 10 of the 4th generation fighters. Give it a go. You know, the 4th generation fighters are the top mainstream fighters in the world today, there is no doubt about this. The 5th generation machine. Only the Eagle is owned by the state, but the Eagle Nation will never use 5th generation fighters casually. The 5th generation fighters of the Eagle Nation are at a strategic level. The Eagle Nation is currently in war, and generally uses 4th generation fighters. Therefore, the 4th generation aircraft is currently the most mainstream, and the fact that they agreed to sell 10 4th generation aircraft to the leaders is enough to see the attitude of the Zanjiang Nation to the leaders. Of course, only 10 fourth generation aircraft have no decisive role in a real war, because air defense missiles still pose a great threat. Perhaps, it will play a key role only when fighting against a backward country like the Macaque country. This is why Zanjiang Nation is so readily willing to sell 10 fourth generation aircraft to Dagon, because there is no worry that selling it to Dagon will have any impact on him and Zanjiang Nation. If you can make a lot of money and show good things, why not do it? Qin Feng is very pleased, even if one requires 30 million. In addition to fighters, tanks must also be purchased in the war bear country. Zanjiang Nation and Dagon are adjacent to each other, and they can be transported by land within a few days, which is much more convenient than buying in countries such as Eagle Nation. The transaction order for a full 1,200 second generation tanks made Zanjiang Nation laughed a little, 
because there are too many idle tanks in Zanshang Nation, and it needs to consume huge maintenance fees every year. Now Dagon takes over 1,200 and is giving the war of the Bear Country brought a lot of money and at the same time alleviated the great pressure. Perhaps the only imperfection is that Dagon needs to pay in installments. There are so many orders for armaments that Dagon can't afford to spend so much money. The oil and mineral resources are not given to the War Bear Nation for the time being, and the War Bear Nation is also a resource-rich country, so there is no shortage of these things at all. In addition to fighter jets and tanks, air defense scuds can sell as much as they can. There are no too many anti-aircraft scuds. They are needed in large quantities whether they are low altitude, medium altitude, or high altitude. Finally, some ammunition. It seems that there are not many varieties, but the quantity is large. The final amount spent is no less than the purchase in Eagle Country. The order of 12 billion Kianyuan kept the smiles on Julius and the senior officials of the War Bear Nation. To know, the purchasing power of 12 billion Kianyuan is equivalent to 120 billion yuan, and the 120 billion armament orders are very rare on the earth. That is to say, Dagon currently lacks these things too much, otherwise only half of the money is needed to produce these weapons and equipment. As for commercial cooperation, there is not much to discuss, because the Zanjiang nation's own economy is very backward, and its own country still needs a large number of foreign companies to invest. How could it be possible to invest heavily? Behind the 12 billion Qianyuan military order, Qinfeng also saw the attitude of the Warshang nation. From then on, if Da Gan started a full-scale war on the macaque country, he would no longer have to worry that these countries would interfere. The problem of the macaque country must be resolved. It is not only a kind of revenge, but also necessary for establishing prestige in the international community. Two days later, the visit to the Kingdom of the War Bears also came to an end. Qin Feng finally took a special plane to fly to major countries. In fact, there are still many countries that have not gone, but there are too many countries. Fortunately, Qin Feng is not alone, and Jia Fengqing, the leading cadre and leftist, also has enough weight to visit other countries. The left hand and right hand sides of the great cadres are truly above 10,000 people under one person, and it is certainly qualified to visit other countries on behalf of the great cadres. The special plane pierced through the clouds, arrived at the capital of Dagon, and landed towards the official airport of the capital. In the mid-air, Qin Feng looked at the series of scenes below. Not to mention the whole task, because Qin Feng can't see other places. However, the rapid development of this capital is far beyond Qin Feng's expectations. Even if he can receive domestic development reports every day, he is often processing them, knowing that he has developed extremely rapidly during the more than a month when he went abroad. But I didn't expect to get to this point quickly. Looking down from midair, the whole dry house is flooded with industrial machines, and workers are scattered all over the center. Some are building roads, some are decorating shops, some are building factories, and some are even building high-rise buildings. Tower cranes, mixers, and the roar of the machines were extremely noisy at other times, but at this moment, these extremely roars seemed so pleasing to the ears. Qin Feng doesn't know where these merchants got these tower cranes and machines, but from here we can see the great magical powers of the merchants. For more than a month, it can be said to be endless sleep, because there is no restriction on disturbing the people, so I am in rush to work 24 hours a day. Coupled with a large number of conscientious workers, the construction speed is undoubtedly super fast. In less than two months, Qin Feng surprisingly discovered that the tallest building had been constructed with 50 or 60 floors, and many buildings that were not as high as that had already been completed and entered the renovation stage. Everything is in full swing. So modernization really has the benefits of modernization. Because this curve is more convenient to overtake, and there are foreign developed countries as a reference, even if most businessmen from all walks of life enter this field for the first time, but there are references to copy homework, these are nothing, problem. And the result of this month's ultra-rapid development is that the taxes collected this month have finally been collected. There may be many factories and enterprises still under construction, but that does not mean that there is no tax at all. For example, shops and restaurants can be put into operation only if there are shops, and after a little decoration. In addition, many small factories are already in operation. 
As long as it operates, no matter how much it is, there is a tax, and the chief executive is extremely strict in the taxation. Then the national tax revenue in the first month totaled 110 million kian yuan, which is less than 120 million yuan. This is still the whole country. But understandable and acceptable. After all, there are still so many companies that have not formally put into operation, and Dagan's business has just started, but they can receive 110 million kian yuan in taxes in a month, which is enough to see the potential of Dagan. The bulk of these taxes are mainly collected by the clothing industry and the catering industry. With so many people walking out of the farmland, they can't help but eat or drink, right? I can't stop buying clothes, right? When other businesses across the country are actually put into operation, the big people at that time will be the real money for the day. Landing. There were vehicles waiting here long ago, and they returned to the palace under the expressway of the express car. After more than a month, I finally came back. It is definitely a lie to say that it is not exhausted. Whoever flies in the sky for more than a month will be very tired. But as an emperor, he still has too many things to deal with, especially in the critical period of Dagon's current development. But when he was about to return to Sijang Dian to process the documents, the personal health worker said that nothing was allowed. Qin Feng continued to be busy and had to rest for at least one day to continue. In the end, Qin Feng was obedient and took a good rest for a day, and then resumed processing the files the next day. Now the ministers in the country all have their own things to do, and they are not necessarily easier than themselves. Especially Jia Fengqing, who has been visiting other countries until now, and the deputy Shangshu of the Ministry of Rights has been following him. Then the other books have a lot of things to do, all of them are busy and exhausted, but they are painful but happy. Busy is busy, tired or tired, but watching Da Gan under the leadership of Qin Feng, riding on the rocket under their auspices is getting better day by day, their inner satisfaction is about to burst. At their position, it is absolutely impossible to rise further. What do you want to go up? Can't sit in the emperor's position. Since there is no way to get promoted, then of course I want to leave a name in history. Therefore, Work hard, without any complaints, do your best, take up your own duties, and make the big people stronger day by day. If you don't have time for meetings, you can only look at the documents submitted by the various ministries. The first is the Ministry of Etiquette Documents. At present, the leaders have officially confirmed diplomatic relations with nearly 40 countries, and they are developing well. The documents of the Ministry of Commerce are currently registered factories, shops, enterprises, etc. of all walks of life in China, totaling 156,000, of which various shops account for the vast majority, factories, enterprises, etc., totaling more than 10,000. This is quite a lot, and when seeing that these companies, factories and shops are really starting to make a lot of money, more people have invested in business. There is a huge gap in all walks of life, and it is almost certain that the shops, factories, and enterprises in the early stage will make money. Official documents, because of the current efforts to crack down on all kinds of corruption, many ministers are stepped down every day, and many ministers add to it. It can be said that in this period of more than a month, the whole ethos of doing great work has taken on a new look, and the old style that has continued in ancient times is almost gone. According to the latest statistics from the Ministry of Households, the total domestic population of Dagon is currently showing a positive growth trend. Hybrid rice is grown in many places across the country, and the Ministry of Households plans to learn from foreign countries and prepare to introduce agricultural machinery. According to the Ministry of Finance documents, the finance of Dagon is still experiencing negative growth. Last month, 110 million tax revenue was a drop in the amount of money for the current Dagon. Because Dagon is currently developing so rapidly, now Dagon's treasury has less than 70 billion kianyuan. This is a very, very dangerous number. If it is not refilled in time, a little something happens and Dagon will enter the bankruptcy stage. Fortunately, the three major banks established by the Ministry of Finance have all entered the investment stage, and the results are still very good. Finally, in view of the current financial situation of the leaders, the Ministry of Finance is preparing to issue treasury bonds, and wants to get Qin Feng's permission. Ministry of Industry Documents, because of the strong support of the Ministry of Finance, the development of the Ministry of Industry can be said to be the same day by day. 
The highways between major cities have entered the construction phase long ago. With the maintenance of a large number of workers and a large number of machines, it will take another six months at most, and soon the first batch of highways will be put into operation. Then there are the three major communications companies. Because of the development of big leaders, many people in many industries need communications and networks, so if you say that the development is best, these three communications companies must be the best. If you don't count the laying of signal towers, network base stations, and optical fiber network cables, the money earned by the three major communications companies every month may be an extremely impressive figure. And it is precisely because the three major communication companies are now making great money, so signal towers, network base stations, and fiber optic cable laying no longer need the support of the Ministry of Finance, and the money made by the communication companies themselves is enough. This is undoubtedly great news. Seeing this, Qin Feng suddenly moved in his heart. He feels. It seems that a super important thing is missing. Seem. The tobacco and alcohol industry seems to be privatized at present. How terrifying the profiteering of tobacco and alcohol is, this really doesn't need to be repeated too much. Take the previous Earth Yanwang Empire as an example. The annual tobacco tax in the previous Earth Yanwang Empire was 1 trillion yuan. The military expenditure at that time was also 1 trillion yuan. So there is such a sentence on the internet. The smokers of the Yanwang Empire fed the entire country's army. There is no exaggeration in this sentence. So you can imagine how terrifying this income is. And you must know that this is just a tobacco tax, and the alcohol tax has not been included. What's more important to know is, there were only 300 million smokers in the Yanwang Empire. If 1 trillion, a smoker would cost 9 yuan a day on average. But what about it? 3.331 billion people. The smokers have not been counted, but it is estimated that they will definitely not be less than the Yanwang Empire. You can often see some old smokers smoking shredded tobacco with a big pipe, and more people make their own cigarettes. In short, there are really too many big smokers. Thinking of this, Qin Feng patted his forehead. Really? How did you forget the tobacco and alcohol? Immediately pressed a button on the desk phone, and soon, the secretary's knock on the door rang. With Qin Feng's, in, the secretary opened the door and asked respectfully, Your Majesty, what's your order? Immediately start investigating Dagan's tobacco and alcohol sales, as well as which private producers are producing, and how many smokers Dagan has, and give me a result as soon as possible. Qin Feng ordered, Yes. The secretary answered and quickly went down to arrange an investigation. Seeing the secretary leave, Qin Feng also showed a smile on his face. Immediately afterwards, he immediately dialed the phone number of Sun Ming Li, the chief secretary of the Ministry of Commerce. Ming Li, this is the case. Your Ministry of Commerce immediately proceeded to issue documents on the nationalization and prohibition of privatization of tobacco and alcohol, and the private operation of tobacco and alcohol must be absolutely prohibited. All are converted to state-owned operations. In previous lives, there were actually a lot of privately operated liquors. But in Dagan, Qin Feng does not intend to do this. There can be many, Many wineries, but these wineries can only be operated by local yamen at most, just like tobacco. Tobacco can also be operated by various local government offices. The Dagan court will collect a total of 80% to 90% of the revenue, and the remaining 10% or 20% of the revenue will be left to the local government. This income is definitely not small, enough to occupy a large part of the construction of local yamen public facilities. Hanging up the phone of Zhang Sun Ming Li, Qin Feng continued to watch the file. At present, many foreign businessmen and entrepreneurs have come to work. There are even many businessmen who have invested in building factories, and they will be in operation soon. These are all types that do not require too high technical content. For example, some international big-name garment factories have come to build factories in Dagan. Some of the clothes made can be consumed internally, and the rest can be exported to other countries. Even if you toss like this, the final profit is more cost-effective. Some of the more technologically advanced manufacturers are currently building factories, but the production lines have not yet been shipped. After the production lines they purchased arrive, they can be put into operation immediately. Then there are industrial issues that Qin Feng is very concerned about. 
With the support of the whole country, various basic industrial facilities have sprung up all over the country. The metallurgical industry, basic chemical industry, and some machinery manufacturing industries are all blooming everywhere. More than a month ago, they could only build a bicycle or something. Today, more than a month later, there is nothing wrong with building a tractor or anything. After all, the technology required for this is really not high. Find a few talents and dig a few more talents, you can create it. While basic industries are blooming everywhere, military industries are of course even less likely to lag behind. At present, in just over a month, the shortage of basic weapons and ammunition has been basically resolved. Several super large light weapons manufacturing plants and ammunition manufacturing plants were newly added. There are also several super large military production lines that will soon be completed. These production lines will produce rockets and rocket launchers. And after the industrial facilities bought in the Eagle Country and other countries arrive, and then use the system to upgrade, you can directly start building high end weapons such as third generation aircraft, second generation tanks, and scuds. Of course, all those technologies must be exchanged from the system. After so many days, the national points have accumulated more than 100 million points, and those higher tech things may not be exchanged, but the third generation aircraft, the second generation tank, and the not especially awesome Scud technology are still okay. As for industrial facilities that manufacture such real high end weapons, such as fourth generation aircraft, this billion points is definitely not enough. Even if they can be exchanged, Dagon does not have that much money to produce. So this has to be done slowly. From a situation where a propeller airplane is not necessarily able to be built, one jumps to the industrial level that can produce third generation aircraft in large quantities. This kind of overtaking technology has surpassed the autumn famous mountain bike god, OK. Finally, there are hospitals and schools. At present, they are all going well, with a large number of additions in each area, and everything is proceeding extremely smoothly and quickly. After reading these documents, Chin Feng was completely relieved. Go on, on the right track. Now, all the facilities and weapons waiting to be purchased have arrived. Then it's time to really take off. After reading the documents, Chin Feng turned over the documents of the Ministry of Finance again, and looked at the National Debt application filed by the Ministry of Finance, and fell into deep thought. To put it simply, National Debt is a bond issued by a country. Then it is purchased by others, and the purchased money goes into the treasury of Dagon, and the purchaser obtains a treasury bond. Treasury bonds can be freely traded, or they can wait until the time limit expires, and then exchange the corresponding amount from the Dagon government. Generally speaking, take a savings treasury bond as an analogy. If the great cadres issue national bonds worth 1000 billion kianyuan, the annual interest rate is set at 5%, and the time is 20 years, then after 20 years, the great cadres will need to pay 200 billion kianyuan. It is equivalent to saying that if someone buys a large-scale treasury bond of 100,000 yuan, then in 20 years, he will receive 200,000 kianyuan. Directly double. This is the national debt, and it is also an investment. And it is also a very popular investment internationally. However, since it is an investment, there must be risks. Although this risk is very, very low, after all, investors who want to invest safely in a country will basically choose to buy treasury bonds. But, that is for countries that are relatively strong and have very stable economic stability. Do, it is too poor at the moment, and the risk index is very high. At least in the eyes of international investors. What if you bought Dagon's national debt and Dagon went bankrupt or disappeared? Therefore, According to the current situation of Dagon, when the national debt is issued, it is really unlikely that many people will subscribe. This is where Chin Feng fell into contemplation. In fact, Chin Feng was very excited about the issuance of major treasury bonds proposed by the Ministry of Finance. One trillion is issued, and two trillion will be returned 20 years later. It looks like a lot, after all, it's doubled. But the time limit is 20 years. With this trillion, how much more can Dagon do? At least, the construction of hydropower stations and power stations that have not started much can start immediately. At least, the road is no longer limited to the highways between the main cities, but the highways of the major cities across the country are connected. 
At least, there is no need to worry about producing too much weapons and equipment will lead to financial emptiness. There are too many benefits. How can these be compared to paying twice as much money 20 years later? Even big cadres can use this 1 trillion, in 20 years, make 10 trillion, 20 trillion, and even more money. Therefore, the bargain is definitely super bargain, there is no doubt about it. The only question now is whether anyone is willing to buy the treasury bonds issued by Dagon. This is the main question. Don't think about it inside Dagon. Now ordinary people are very tight. Money is basically deposited in the bank to eat interest during that period of death. Therefore, the issuance of national debt must consider foreign individuals, or capitalists, or consortia, or even a certain country. However, the problem is that Dagon is really poor, or it has just started, and it has not established its prestige in the world. With such a poor state and low fiscal revenue, we really need to consider factors such as whether the big cadres can afford it, and whether the big cadres will even go bankrupt. Secondly, we have to consider the devaluation of Qianyuan. For example, the value of Qianyuan is equivalent to that of Yingyuan, and you can buy a steamed bun for 10 dry points. But what about 20 years from now? If Qianyuan depreciates a lot, you can buy a bun for 10 cents now, but it will take 2 Qianyuan or even 20 Qianyuan to buy it after 20 years. Isn't that the investor's blood loss? Now spend 10,000 Qianyuan, 20 years later, the purchasing power of 10,000 Qianyuan is only equivalent to 1,000 yuan now, or even 100 yuan. So those investors shouldn't jump off the building. These are all problems. It is also a problem that must be solved. Side. Although the issuance of national debt is really exciting. But now that the national debt of the great cadres, it is really possible that someone will claim it. First of all, we must ensure that Qian Yuan does not depreciate. Secondly, we must erect the prestige that will never decline. After thinking about it, Qin Feng decided that treasury bonds must be issued, because this is a booster for great success. However, it is after the macaque country incident is completely resolved. Otherwise, even a small country like the macaque country will not be able to solve it. Why do people believe that you can become stronger by doing your best? Solving the macaque country not only erected prestige, but also solved the cancer that has always been. It's a multitude of things in one fell swoop. Thinking of this, Qin Feng pressed the button to call the secretary again. Soon, the secretary entered the house, and Qin Feng immediately asked, how long will the weapons and equipment of the Eagle Nation and the War Bear Nation be in place? Upon hearing this, the secretary quickly took out the tablet and swiped it a few times, and then replied, Back to your majesty, it is estimated that it will take 23 days for the weapons and equipment of the Eagle Nation to arrive in Dagon. But the Bear Nation will be much faster, and it will take up to a week before they can all arrive at Dagon. Quote. Qin Feng nodded and said, Okay, I see waved his hand to indicate that the secretary could go out. When the secretary went out, Qin Feng picked up the black phone on the desk and dialed the number in the office of Wu Shansheng, the right minister of the central province. Wu Shansheng quickly connected the phone, Your Majesty. Qin Feng asked, Right, how is the training of the big cadres recently? I don't want the weapons and equipment purchased from countries such as the Eagle Nation and the War Bear Nation to arrive, but few of our big cadres will use it. This is not good. Wu Shansheng hurriedly said, Your Majesty, please rest assured that the quality of our leading army is absolutely excellent. In this regard, I also pay great attention to these issues. So as long as Your Majesty and the Eagle Nation negotiated an order, I contacted the Eagle Nation through the Ministry of Etiquette and sent our hard-working fighters to the Eagle Nation to study. In addition, the quality of our major army is absolutely not bad so these weapons and equipment will definitely be used. Perhaps the only flaw may be the shortage of pilots in our major countries. After all, pilots cannot be trained in a day or two. But your majesty don't have to worry. The original pilots that we have worked hard have all gone through actual combat and have been tempered. They may not be familiar with the new models, but as long as they have been familiar with them for a period of time, they will definitely be no problem to get started. Quote, after listening to Wu Shansheng's words, Qin Feng was still very satisfied. Wu Shansheng. Contrary to his name, he is usually invisible, but that doesn't mean that he is incapable. 
On the contrary, Wu Shansheng's ability in the military is highly recognized by the entire cabinet, otherwise Wu Shansheng would not have been the leading rightist. It is precisely because of Wu Shansheng's ability that the inside of Dagon is now so stable, so that the surrounding crumbs have not succeeded. After a moment of contemplation, Qin Feng issued an order, pilots, high-end equipment drivers, and high-end equipment users are all high-level military talents, and we absolutely must fully support our efforts. I remember that we have a great Air Force school, right? I will let the Ministry of Households grant a large amount of funding to the school immediately, and at the same time, not only the Air Force University, but also the Army and Naval Universities will give a sufficient amount of funding. In addition, students will be recruited from all major cadres, and the military can also recommend young students to study in the school. We must let us have a large number of high-quality soldiers, so that we can better protect us. Quote. Qin Feng's words made Wu Shansheng extremely happy. Well, thank you, your majesty, this is a great thing. Rest assured, my majesty, Wu Shansheng is now issuing a military order. As long as we have enough funds and get enough training, the quality of our leading soldiers will definitely not be worse than that of soldiers in any country. Quote. Ha ha, well, let us wait and see. Qin Feng said with a smile. Just as he was about to hang up, Wu Shansheng suddenly said, By the way, your majesty, there is one more thing. I originally planned to wait until the news is officially confirmed before telling you, but now that you have already called, I think I still have to talk to you. Of course, the authenticity of the matter has not been verified, so I can't guarantee it. Quote. Qin Feng's expression was solemn, and he said solemnly, You say, I'm listening. The military is nothing trivial. And if Wu Shansheng can tell him before the news is confirmed, then this matter must be no ordinary trivial matter for Dagon. Wu Shansheng pondered for a moment, seeming to be sorting out his rhetoric, and then said, Your Majesty, according to the feedback from our intelligence personnel, the Macaque country seems to be planning something big against us. Yesterday, at 3 or 4 in the morning of the Macaque country time, our intelligence personnel monitored that the Macaque country's military secretly had a large number of large vehicles coming and going. It's just that these vehicles are covered with obstructions, and it is impossible to see what the objects are inside. But judging from the shape, there is a high probability that a large number of weapons and equipment, as well as high-end weapons and equipment, and even fighters, tanks, etc. For the specific situation, our intelligence personnel immediately went to conduct a detailed investigation. The intelligence has not yet come so it is impossible to be 100% sure what it is, nor is it sure what the macaque country is planning. Quote. After listening to Wu Shansheng's words, Qin Feng's sword eyebrows twisted together. Does the macaque country purchase a large number of high-end weapons and equipment such as fighter jets and tanks? The situation in the country of macaques, as a neighboring major, has been fighting with the country of macaques for several years, how could it not be known? The economy and the military are slightly higher than those of the leaders. But that's because the area of the Macaque country is countless times smaller than that of Dagon. Otherwise, if the Macaque country has such a large area, the Macaque country must be no better than the primitive tribe. But it is a pity that it was really too weak before the start, but the country of Macaques is not much stronger. It is really going to be ruthless, and there is no threat from other countries, and the Macaque country can be wiped out in a matter of minutes. In this case, the macaque country cannot have more money to purchase a large amount of high-end weapons and equipment, unless the macaque country does not want to pass it, the salaries of the personnel do not want to be paid, the salaries of the soldiers do not want to be paid, and the infrastructure does not want to, want it. So, where does the money of the macaque country come from? Qin Feng thought for a moment, and then ordered, Keep watching the developments of the macaque country, I need to grasp all the details of the macaque country. If it is determined that the macaque country has really purchased these weapons and equipment in large quantities, then let me figure out who provided it to the macaque country, everything as soon as possible. Quote. Yes. Guarantee to complete the task. Wu Shansheng immediately replied loudly. Okay, let's do this first. If you have any situation, report to me as soon as possible. Yes, your majesty. After finishing the conversation with Wu Shansheng, Qin Feng rubbed his forehead. In fact, the macaque country has purchased a large number of high-end weapons and equipment. 
Qin Feng is not particularly worried. Because soon the high-end weapons and equipment he purchased from the Eagle Nation and the War Bear Nation will also be in place. However, he now needs to figure out for the first time, who provided these things to the Macaque country. This is critical and important. Especially in the case of a full-scale war between the great leaders and the Macaque country, this information is particularly important. Because it is necessary to make sure that the countries that are secretly supported behind the Macaque country are not those very powerful countries. For example, Eagle Country, War Bear Country, the top 10 countries in the world's military strength. What? I just ended my visit with these countries, and I just purchased weapons and equipment from these countries, must it not be them? What? People with this kind of thinking, Qin Feng can only think that it is too naive. People are full of conspiracies and tricks. Countless people have a set of things on the surface. What's more, between nations. In absolute interest, everything can be sold and nothing can be ignored. Between countries, no one will talk to you about morality. For example, the Eagle Country. Don't look at the enthusiasm for Dagon now. But when there is a real chance to bite off a large piece of meat from Dagon, and when he can really benefit from Dagon, the Eagle Nation will definitely not hesitate. And it must be the toughest one. There is no doubt about this. Therefore, we must first figure out who is behind the Macaque country. This is really important. Then make a series of actions and judgments based on the situation. Shaking his head, put the matter down for the time being, and continued to look at the file. Dot dot dot. In the afternoon, restaurants are generally more leisurely. The second baby is checking the sanitary condition of the restaurant in the back kitchen at this time. In this regard, he pays great attention to it. It's not because of anything else, that is, if the hygiene is improved, those customers will be more willing to come to eat in their own restaurant, followed by the taste. And the taste, obviously it is also very good, so the restaurant opened by Irwa is now a well-known restaurant, and when it arrives, it is basically full. That's right. After the second baby came out of Zuyu village, the industry she chose to do was the restaurant. Because he has a traditional craft, Zuyu village has a kind of hot pot made from the bottom of the pot, spicy and delicious, and the taste is first class. In addition, he also discovered in market research that the restaurant in the city where he is now, the taste of the dishes cooked is basically the same, but the shabu shabu like the one in his hometown is not at all. He was keenly aware that this might be a business opportunity, so he resolutely decided to take a loan and open a hot pot restaurant. But the loan is not as easy as he thought. He is an ordinary villager, why would the bank be willing to lend him? In the end, after a series of difficulties, under the guarantee of the village chief, and after taking out the house deeds of his home and the village chief's house as a guarantee, only 30,000 yuan was loaned out. 30,000 yuan not a lot, enough to open a hot pot restaurant in a big city. With the idea of unsuccessful benevolence, after another half a month, the hot pot restaurant he named, looking for a needle in a haystack, opened. And to his surprise, the business is indeed very, very good. The shabu shabu style of eating in his hometown has attracted countless people's love. Not only attracted many small bosses to eat, but also a few foreigners who came to invest heavily in the past two days to eat. Finding a needle in a haystack is getting bigger and bigger, and it happens that I can't sit down every time I get a meal. He is already planning to open branches, and instead of opening one or two, he is planning to open multiple branches at once. He learned from the bank that he can now use the store as a mortgage, and then borrow a large sum of money from the bank. Because the potential of my own store is very large, the bank is also very happy to lend itself. In addition, it can be said that Rijin Dujin's revenue, it should be no problem to open multiple branches at once. When thinking about this in his mind, suddenly, the clerk Xiao Li rushed into the back kitchen. Before the people arrived, the panicked voice came first, boss, boss. A big deal. A big deal has happened. The second baby suddenly became nervous, and hurriedly asked, what's the matter? Tell me. Xiao Li hurriedly pointed to the outside and said, Outside, many big people have come outside. Really many big people have come. The governors of our province are here. Also, there are so many catches, so many cars. Boss, you, did you think they came to arrest you? Quote. You said, a lot of big shots came. 
A lot of arrests. Even our governor came. The second baby is now a person who has seen the world, and instead of panicking like Xiao Li, she immediately asked. The governor, that is indeed an absolute great man, from the second rank minister, the real official in Xinjiang. Before Xiao Li could answer, the second baby hurriedly opened the rear kitchen door and walked out. He just asked subconsciously, where might he wait for Xiao Li to answer before going out? As predicted, as soon as he walked out of the back kitchen, the situation outside the restaurant was stunned by the second baby. Sure enough, cars stopped at the entrance of the hotel, and people in black suits got off and on the cars. Having said that, I have to say, although Dagan is poor, his style of clothing is completely modern, and he will not wear ancient clothes or tattered clothes just because he is poor. After these men and women in black suits and white headsets came down, they scattered around for the first time and looked around vigilantly. Immediately afterwards, some people who looked like big people got out of the car. Among them were the admiral of the city where the second baby is now, and the governor of the province where he is often seen on TV. But the second baby was even more stunned. After the governor and the admiral got out of the car, they both walked to the side of an unnamed elongated car with a grin. They didn't open the door or anything, because there were bodyguards beside the car. They looked like they seemed to be waiting for someone respectfully. Just as Irwa was stunned and stared at the door that was about to open, a middle-aged man walked towards him and said in a deep voice, I am the deputy admiral, you are this one. The owner of the shop, right. The second baby nodded subconsciously. Your Majesty, we inspected here, and then learned about your hot pot restaurant. Your Majesty was very interested, so I came to you to inspect and have a meal by the way. The Deputy Admiral said quickly, Remember, you must ask your chefs to serve you at the highest level, but don't make any situation, otherwise no one can afford it, you know. The second baby was really stunned, Your Majesty, Your Majesty. Your Majesty wants and wants to come and eat with me. The second baby felt that her brain was short-circuited. He couldn't think of killing him, that the Emperor Shengming, whom he admired and supported so much in his mind, would come to his hot pot restaurant for dinner. Oh my god. The second baby shivered with excitement, and nodded like a chicken pecking at rice. Good, 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 I, I will definitely let them come out with the best craftsmanship. No, I will cook by myself. I it will definitely make the taste of our hometown. The deputy admiral showed a smile on his face and patted the second baby's shoulder with relief. Well, very good. Remember, as long as there is no problem this time, our admiral's mansion will fully support your hot pot restaurant in the future. As far as I know, is your hot pot restaurant planning to expand recently? We will directly guarantee the bank with the admiral's mansion, and you will be able to obtain a very large loan at that time, so this is an opportunity, you have to grasp it well. Quote. Life is often so wonderful. Opportunities always come unexpectedly in your efforts. The smile on Irwa's face was as brilliant as a flower. And soon, a figure got out of the car, that familiar figure, and the gentle smile on his face, is it the one who can only be seen on TV, and is now regarded as the prince of the sage by the people of the great cadres. His Majesty Emperor Qin Feng. The second baby was excited, as excited as seeing an idol. What made him even more excited was that His Majesty Qin Feng spoke to several people around him, and then looked towards him as the governor pointed out. Dot dot dot. Qin Feng just got off the car and immediately felt the enthusiasm of the people around him. Each of his eyes excitedly shouted, Your Majesty the Emperor, and Qin Feng also waved to them one by one. As for approach, it's still not approachable. Although the current firearms prohibition laws are effective, there is no guarantee that firearms will be completely eliminated. For the safety of Qin Feng, even if Qin Feng trusts and protects him, the guards will never allow Qin Feng to fall into danger. Entering this hot pot restaurant with the signature name, looking for a needle in a haystack, a spicy and spicy taste rushes to your face. As a person who loves heavy tastes in his previous life, his love for hot pot and shabu has never diminished. As soon as he entered the shop, a middle-aged man led an excited young man toward him. The middle-aged man respectfully introduced, Your Majesty, this is the owner of this hot pot restaurant. Qin Feng smiled and stretched out his hand at the second baby, and smiled, Hello, are you not a local? Facing Qin Feng's right hand stretched out, Erwa hurriedly wiped his palms on the clothes a few times. 
Only then was the excited hands holding Qin Feng's hands, and the tone trembled, Return, your majesty, I, I am from Shan province, and I live in Yu village. My name is Yi Shan. Mountain province. A good place. Qin Feng smiled and shook hands with the second baby, and then asked, It shouldn't be easy to come to Huajiang province for thousands of miles. The second baby hurriedly replied, In response to your majesty, in fact, it's okay, but it was a little bottomless at the beginning. Now the business has started, and it's very, very profitable. Qin Feng was amused by the second baby's words and laughed loudly, and nodded, Just make money, make money. We work hard, and we will gradually get better in the future, and everyone will get richer. After chatting with Erwa for a few more words, Qin Feng looked at the clerk in Erwa's shop and asked. A little girl Named Shao Li, caught his attention. The little girl was only 16 years old this year. There is no such thing as child labor in Dagon, but she, who is already 16 years old, has been studying for a day. I haven't been in it before, and I started helping my family with farm work when I was very young. Now that Dagon is fully open to business, the little girl walked out of her hometown and went to work in the city. After hearing what happened to Xiao Li, Qin Feng felt very heavy. Learning changes destiny, knowledge changes the future. This sentence is by no means empty words. There is still a long way to go to popularize the culture of Dagon, and the current schools and teachers are far from enough. Thinking of this, Qin Feng couldn't help but think of the national debt, which is undoubtedly a booster for Dagon to take off quickly. With money, a considerable part of it will be invested in schools, and enough schools for adults will be opened. I really need a lot of culture. Dinner is naturally a shabu hot pot eaten in a haystack. The mouthful of spicy taste greatly satisfied Qin Feng's taste buds, and the familiar taste in his memory made him feel a little heavier. After a meal, Qin Feng and others left after the Erwa and others farewell, and proceeded to the next location to continue the inspection. As the Emperor of Dagon, you can't solve everything in the palace. If you don't see it with your own eyes and understand it yourself, Dagon will never get the best development. Fortunately, Dagan's development is really good, and Qin Feng is also very satisfied with it. Predicting. In another year at most, the car that overtakes the corner will enter the next stage. Today, one year later, is also the time for Dagon to truly become a modern and powerful country. The current development is still laying the foundation for the rapid takeoff in the future. Overtaking in a curve, there are targets to plagiarize. It's so unreasonable. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.